come into the master bathroom. This is my bathroom. This is my bathroom. This is the master bathroom. We've never had a film crew in the master bath. Here's the master bathroom. We spent a lot of time in here. I spent a lot of time in here. The girls like to take showers with me. My husband always complained that the reason why he didn't like taking showers was because he said I stole all the water. So now he has his side, I have my side. No more stealing water. And then I always get cold when I come out of the bathtub. So we put the bathtub inside of the shower. And so that way it's nice and cozy and warm. Even when you get out of the bath. Right? Yeah, that's right. So this is the bathroom. It's really everything I've ever wanted in a bathroom. I think it's perfect. It feels really nice. The view is nice. I love the lighting fixture. So far, I've only used the bathtub once because I feel like when you buy a house with a bathtub like this, you have to use it. So I did, and I'm good now. Now I'm back to the shower. So this is uh, my brother's bathroom. These blinds here, they're currently on a timer and I think they go up at 6 or 7 a.m. So when my brother takes a shower, somebody's outside, it goes up. He's had an encounter with our gardeners because he decided to take an early shower and the gardeners, you know, had a nice view. We just wallpapered in here and we had a really hard time figuring out what kind of wallpaper we wanted to put in. And we ended up with drunk monkeys. Monkeys smoking cigars, monkeys taking bras off of other monkeys, monkeys drinking vodka. We love it. It seems appropriate because that's basically what's happening at this what point. happens at the house. <laughs> and don't let the door fool you. This is a all gender bathroom. This is a, a portrait of Sophia and Julie. It's a recreation of a, the famous Sophia Loren, Jane Mansfield portrait that was taken, I believe, at the Oscars. I don't know a lot about the history of the, the original picture, but I, I love it. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? It's Avery Downey's bathroom. Wait a second, it just looks like a curtain to me. <laughs> oh my God, Joe, you did it again. Everybody's favorite room for some reason. It's like a box of good and plenty in there. <laughs> I tend to do art projects for Christmas. So this one was uh, when it all started. It gives you something to look at when you're dropping a deuce. When you have guests come over, why not have the powder room be a little fun? So this guest powder room is sort of the homage to the 70s. Pictures of everyone at Studio 54, and then we have these wonderful notes from Jackie Kennedy where she's talking about her wardrobe. I mean, this is New York Central, this powder room. What's the best thing in the world to be able to actually take a bath and see a boat go by? I mean, paradise to me. And privacy and light in a bathroom in New York is everything. We've never had a film crew in the master bath, but here we are. Uh, very basic, very simple. Do you want to see the squatty potty I just bought on Amazon? <laughs> Let me tell you something. So the other day, I was very proud, I bought um, one of the new great features of the home is the Squatty Potty. I read an article about this, about Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad, and he was just talking about the Squatty Potty, and when Walter White talks about something that great, I immediately just went, Pfft. I got two of them. Like a lot else in this house, several things in this room were repurposed. This sink was actually here, but we put new legs on it. And we found this tile and we retiled it and this is our amazing bathtub. This is a teak bathtub. It's amazing. It's made by Scottish barrel makers and we've had it for 10, 12 years, right? This yeah. is a favorite room. We like this room, yeah. So as you can see, we got a really good price on the wallpaper. Somebody told me that you should put your prized possession or the thing that you want to show off the most about in your guest bathroom because that's where the most people will see it. This is a letter from my hero, favorite person of all time, Stevie Wonder. Please stop stealing all my ideas. Oh, that's weird. I've never even read it before. This is my bathroom. This is sort of my wall of shame of 
paintings that I accidentally bought on the internet thinking that they were real. When I moved in and you know they're showing you, oh and we have a steam shower, you're like, who cares? Like I'm never gonna use a steam shower. And then about after a year of living in here, I used it for the first time. It's actually quite wonderful, so now I'm happy that I have it. I invite friends over and we sit and sweat and complain about stuff. This is my bathroom. There's not much going on. Here's, uh, here's the toilet. And then on this side, I was like really scared to open it. Did you see? I was like, this is the toilet. <laughs> and then this is the shower. There's a little plant in there. Keep him nice and soaked. This is my shampoo of choice. And it always has been. It's Suave Kids. It's tear-free shampoo, which I found out isn't tears. Like it's, you still cry when it gets in your eyes. It's tear-free. So it doesn't tear your hair. Like it doesn't like have knots in your hair. If you're trying to get rid of tears, this isn't the way to go, but if you want good smelling hair, this is still the way to go. This is my bathtub. I think I've used it like four or five times. And then there's a cool view of the outside from here. It's also a cool view from the outside to in here. If you're in the Comcast building and you want to see me bathe, <laughs> I'll make sure to open this for you. Great. Now I can never bathe again. And this is our powder room, which we redid, and we wanted to be whimsical about it, so we put all these photographs of, like, icons in there, just staring straight at the camera, so when you go into pee, Picasso's you're, at you. yeah, everybody's <laughs> looking at you. This is my bathroom. This is kind of my own ode to, like, Moroccan hammam, kind of got my steam shower, a beautiful copper and silver blue, which is... One of my favorites. And yeah, the tiling, this very nice sink, beautiful mirror, it's all kind of Moroccan themed, which I love. You know, you get this really nice light coming in the morning. This is one of my favorite places in the house, even though it's in the basement. Was inspired by uh, a friend of mine, Julian Schnabel, who's a really amazing artist. And in his house, he has a lot of tiles and interesting color combinations and I went to see his house and absolutely fell in love with it and so that's when I did this bathroom so thank you Julian <laughs> this is the master bathroom this is like a good place for me to relax as a mom and I put photos of my mom and my grandmother here in the bathroom with me we have a steam shower those are called subway tiles which I really like they're kind of a very classic New York Thing, but I like them in that blue color. They have like a little crackling to them. This is my bathroom. Um, I love this room. I love the carpet leading up to this kind of bare claw bathtub. This has always been my dream bathtub. I just love this style of bathtub. I take baths like as many times a day as possible. I just love the process of it. I love bath salts. I love candles going. It's just a really nice way to unwind from the day. And then this is my little vanity. I have all my gorgeous perfumes over here. I love like that kind of old style where you have like your beauty products on display and all of like kind of my favorite products that I use every day out and then everything else is just a mess in the drawers. And I think this is one of the rooms that changed the most mm -hmm. through the renovation. We opened up the whole window. There was which... just a little picture window. Yeah, it just feels, it feels really nice. Jensen's always worried about people watching while you take a bath, but I'm not. It's two separate counters, but... His and hers. Divided by a lovely piece of furniture. The shower I love, and actually I'm a huge fan of Architectural Digest. And this shower I got um, from Neil Patrick Harris's house, so thank you, Neil. The metalwork on this is intense. These are really, really solid, heavy beams. I gotta have a good shower. Something with a lot of water pressure, room to move around. All right, one of my favorite parts of this bathroom happens to be the toilet. Let me show you why. And come into the master bathroom. It actually was a bedroom before. One of Jake Arnold's like classics is this beautiful wood cabinetry. He did this in another house and I just fell in love with it. So my dad actually found this reclaimed wood, I believe in Idaho, and it was from a barn. This is the sailor window. It's actually an original window. It was in the master bathroom 
it's really cute. I love that we kind of kept things that, you know, we reuse things in a way. It was funny when we had the bedroom here, it was two small windows. This is like the best view and you see downtown. And so we were just like, there has to be a huge window there. And I'm a big bath person. So I was excited to put a bath right in front of the window. This has a very hotel vibe to me. Like I feel like I'm in a hotel room and I'm like, oh wait, that's our bathroom, that's crazy.